Okay, guys, I thought I'd make a little video here of uh, the three-point seat belt install and the rear uh, lap belt install on my 65 Mustang Fastback. So I've got, I got these three-point and I got the rear uh, lap belts from West Co. Performance. I believe they're out of, of Florida. Uh, so basically, this is what you got. So that part right there is where the original uh, lap, bat, <clears throat> lap seat belt mounted for the Mustang. Now up there, you'll see here. Let me see if I can show you here a little bit better. You can see the mounting point right there. Now the, the kit I bought had a bracket, and you basically just bring that bracket through this hole, bring it up here. Some people rivet it. Some people just screw it in. It was at my body shop, you know, body and paint guy. So I just had him weld that on. So, uh, you know, that's it. Then this has a sash, which I believe this is a seven or eight inch sash, which it brings this down to keep that seat belt from going across your neck and more on the shoulder where it's supposed to go. Now down here, uh, I mounted that and I tried to get this as straight line as I could, but this would not go back here uh, without hitting the panel. I was able to get a little clearance by moving it over a little bit. Now you can't really see it, but back in here is the rear torque box. So the screw that mounts that goes through that I drilled through actually goes through the rear torque box. So it gives it some extra strength. So if you do get in an accident, it's not going to rip out. And this is the bracket that mounts that bottom one <clears throat> right here. So you can see there's a long side and a short side. I decided to go ahead and put the short side down onto the floor, and then I mounted the retractable on this. Just gave me a little bit more clearance. I just, I don't know. I, I tried it both ways, and for my applications, that, that worked uh, a lot better. So, And then over there, let's go over here and look. So if you look there, that's the rear lap seat belt. Now you see what I had to do here is I had to actually trim that panel a little bit for that screw. Now I had to put that screw in before I screwed down that panel right there. But I had to trim it out because the panel wouldn't sit flush and I wanted to be able to get my screw uh, wrench in there if I ever need to loosen that up. And you can see the same thing I did right over here. If I move this down. There we go. So I just trimmed a little bit out. That's going to be covered down with the fold down seat and the seat itself. So you'll never actually see that. I just got my uh, Dremel with my cutting tool came off pretty easy. So, uh, you know, that's it. So this is it. This is a test fit before I put my carpet in. I'm going to start working on my fold down seats and uh, see where we go from there. I'm going to wait before I put this panel on here because I still had to put my one piece headliner in. So I don't want to have to take it off if I put it on. So this is a test fit, but overall it didn't take me too long. One thing I will say is where this is mounted right here, if I had to do that over again, what I would do is I'd probably cut, and I've seen this online, is cut that section out and actually move it towards the back of the car and weld it on and then move this over here. That would get it that belt out of the courtesy light, and it would also push it back so people getting in and out of the back, now that I'm going to have a whole lot of people, will actually just kind of be out of the way. And, you know, and you're only talking about, what, moving it back maybe a foot. I think I saw Joe Daddy's garage. He did that, but, you know, it was too late. My car was already, you know, being primed or whatever, and I just didn't want to go to my body guy and say, hey, Let's move that back a little bit. So it is what it is, but I thought this would be a nice educational video for anyone that's looking to do this. Once again, West Coast or West Co. Performance is where I got the seat belts, uh, and they're all matching. And seeing how this is, my car is going to be called Mick Blue. I got my blue exterior, my uh, silver metallic interior. Carpet's going to be dark blue. Dash is going to be dark blue. So I think that these seat belts are going to match just fine. So I hope that helps you guys.